Yo, what up everybody? We are back again. This time we are drawing a female predator. Um, which was actually by mistake. Um, the idea was to draw uh, just a regular predator from the movie. Um, coming out of the water and, the, and his cloaking device is kind of wearing off. Um, and that's something that's probably will be probably easy to do uh, digitally. But as you can see here, this is a traditional piece. So we're gonna try to see if I can um, if I can pull that off proper. Um, <clears throat> right now we're just going through the inking phase. Um, there's a lot of little d uh, details in there, and the interesting thing about predators is um, there's a lot of backstory in just the uh, the armor and the aesthetics that are involved. Um, as you can see, she has like a uh, a medieval pauldron on her shoulder, um, on her right shoulder. Her left shoulder has like a Wayland um, Corporation kind of uh, shoulder pad. Um, there's a Hydra belt buckle uh, that she has, a uh, Chinese broadsword, just, um, you know, the different places she's been uh, throughout history. And that is the head of a uh, an engineer um, from the Prometheus movies and Alien Covenant. Um, okay, right now we're going through the coloring phase. Um, a lot of times there's no there's no game plan, you know. Um, most of the stuff is on a whim. I have an idea of what colors, you know, certain stuff needs to be, but I just kind of um, I just pick colors out. You know, metal needs to be, you know, look metal, but other like clothing articles and stuff like that. I try to find stuff that contrast and and pops a little bit. A lot of little details here that um, that are kind of tedious to to try to color with markers that tend to bleed a lot. So I had to be fairly careful on this without getting a lot of um, overlap and bleeding out the lines uh, there's the uh, the Wayland uh, Corporation shoulder pad um, there was a lot of other little details I wanted to sneak in but I guess I didn't want to get um, overcrowded um, so there's just a few little Easter eggs uh, throughout um, she's actually kind of brightly lit for a predator uh, for any hunter um, that was just a design choice you know nothing's canon here okay more um, just detailing in the in the dreads um, which from what I can tell isn't actually hair it's just um, actually an extension of their of their flesh almost like a, almost like tentacle hair I guess you can call it um, so going in here with the yellow again like I said I like working with the yellow um, just a fun color it's easy to blend get really good results um, this is actually the maybe only the second time I've ever drawn Predator for for me being such a huge fan. Um, he's actually or he or she is actually quite hard to draw, especially without a mask. Um, now the skin, um, man, um, I had no game plan going into this. I knew that her sh she has a like a pattern, or most Predators have some kind of pattern, and it kind of um, blends into a white. Uh, uh, flesh tone um, so I just try to do that try to recreate that as much as possible um, doing a little more blending adding some um, details in the skin like spots and stuff like that I guess it turned out pretty good uh, can't complain um, the engineer was another issue because they're really pale skinned and I didn't really have a lot of really light blues to kind of do that so I just kind of went with purple purples and pinks um, to try to give it that paleness color um, 
I think, well, her head's actually kind of small for a predator. And I think his head might be big enough. They're like nine feet tall. So, so they're actually quite large. Um, larger than probably your average predator anyways. Um, now we're getting down to the, the cloaking I was talking about, it, like emerging from the water. This was another thing that I had no real idea how I was going to do it. Um, I knew I had to kind of create or recreate the um, the lightning that that's that's kind of coming from the from the cloaking device or electricity. I shouldn't say lightning, um, electricity, and then how it's kind of translucent. Um, it has like that wavy heat wave kind of uh, effect to it. I couldn't really create all that, but um, uh, I tried. <laughs> Um, just uh, adding her little scarf here. There's no lore behind that. Um, just something aesthetically. I just decided to add into it. <clears throat> um, okay, outlining a little <laughs> Hydra belt buckle. Who she probably got off some commander or something. Okay, more little details. Um, some water that I kind of <laughs> bs I guess. Um, I guess I could create a whole jungle background, but I guess I didn't want to get carried away. Um, hitting it with some whites. We're getting ready to come to an end, actually. Um, so, yeah. There you have it. Female predator. <laughs>